Okay. Can you hear me? <laughs> I think it's time to start this plenary panel. It's the last event of this conference, which is nice, a nice closure, I, I hope, I think. So welcome, everyone. Uh, this is a plenary panel that we called Futures of Geomedia. And those of you who were in the session before the coffee break with Pablo and Helena and Karina and her and their other uh, German friends, <laughs> it happens to be, <laughs> uh, you will probably uh, realize that these two panels, they are overlapping in terms of thematics. So I look forward to continuing the conversations that we started in that uh, session. So I am Karin Fast. I'm from Costa University and the Geomedia Research Group. I am sharing this panel, but I am not the only organizer. And especially Cornelia Brandner is my co-organizer of this panel. And we have also great help um, from Pablo Abend and his colleagues, or our colleagues. Um, so I will say a few words about why we decided to organize this panel. Before doing that, uh, I should also say that we had a late cancellation. In case you had a look at the program a while ago, you would have seen that Bo Reimer from Malmö University and the Medea Lab was supposed to present uh, a project an artistic collaborative research project called Tender Time, and that should also have been a part of this panel. We are very sorry to miss that, but I am sure that we will still have a great time in here with all the brilliant minds gathered. So, as to why this panel, um, the panel is thematically linked to a special issue that uh, I myself is organizing together with Cornelia Brandner and Pablo Abend. Um, and it's for media and communication, and it is called Geomedia Futures. And it can be seen as a sort of sister project to the thematic issue that we published last year on Geomedia Histories, again with Pablo. And in the call for papers uh, for the new special issue on Geomedia Futures, uh, we take as the point of departure the concept of geomediatization realism. Uh, and our hope is that the articles contributing to the special issue uh, can challenge the kind of outlook on reality and the future that this concept refers to. And I think that this panel might serve the same purpose, to challenge geomediatization realism by helping us envision multiple diverse futures. So what do we mean by this term? Well, it's not our term. <laughs> uh, the concept of geomediatization realism was introduced by Maren Hartmann uh, and Andre Jansson uh, in uh, as it happens, another special issue on geomedia called Gentrification and the Right to the Geomedia City. It was also published last year. And as uh, Maran and Andre explain, the concept refers to um, processes of acceptance and resignation, not only in relation to media use, but also to the wider context of the expansion of geomedia businesses and corporations. So geomediatization realism encompasses both utopian and dystopian outlooks through which our future with geomedia appears in singular rather than in plural, as if there were no alternative to the visions of tomorrow that surface in hegemonic geomedia representations, such as, for example, those provided by the media industry, by tech companies, by policymakers, politicians. Um, and as you figure, the term is uh, related to uh, Mark Fisher's seminal notion of capitalist realism. And like Fisher, we see the need of providing alternative future imaginaries. So this is also an objective of the research field called critical future studies. Uh, and we believe that there can be very fruitful cross-fertilizations between critical geomedia 
futures uh, or studies and critical future studies. And as our next speaker will show us, I think, uh, we may also form productive bonds with other fields, like, for example, platformization studies and science and technology studies. Uh, so this being said, let me present the content of this plenary panel and the brilliant minds then, that can help us imagine the futures of geomedia. So first out is uh, Ramon Rodriguez Amat, who is a principal lecturer at the Sheffield, Un uh, Sheffield Hallam University. You know him by now, I think. <laughs> Uh, and on the university website and in Ramon's research profile, we can read that his work is structured around three aspects that shape communicative space. First, the infrastructures and media materialities, physical and virtual. Second, communities and their practices of definition and identification. And three, the governance of communicative spaces, including regulation policies and the structures of property and media industries. And you are productive and you write a lot. <laughs> and I will not read <laughs> your publication list, but I just wanted to mention a couple of publications from, from this year so that you get an idea of, of uh, Ramon's work. So, for example, in Median Journal, you recently published an article called Space Sex Machines, Transplanetary Ethics and the Mediatization of Things. And also in International Journal of Strategic Communication, you published The Fluid and Disruptive Shape of Activism, Strategic Communication in Hashtag Fridays for Future. I don't know how representative they are. <laughs> you can perhaps comment on that if you would like to, but that's just a couple of examples of the very interesting stuff that you're involved in. Um, and today we will hear Ramon talk about how neighboring research fields may inform our, underst our understanding of the media futures from the outside. After that, you will talk about for 30 minutes, something like that. Thereafter, I will invite to the floor also uh, Pablo Abend uh, from Burg Gib. Gib, <laughs> you have a, such a complicated <laughs> university name. Yeah, Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and then uh, Helena Attenader from University of Tübingen, and then Karina Kirsten from Siegen University. Uh, and they will provide reflections and commentaries on the future of geomedia, originating perhaps from Ramon's talk or from the content of the conference overall, I suspect. And thereafter, their commentaries, we will open the floor for a general discussion on this topic. And then we will have arrived at the time where it's time to say goodbye. But that's not yet. Let's leave it uh, to the end, of course. And Ramon, take it away. <laughs> Yes, okay. Oh, nice. Fantastic. 